Hey everybody, this is Sunglass Rob from Sport RX and here for the Talk About It Tuesday Live People's Choice Award Rexies uh, event. Sorry, I'm a little bit late. I was having a little bit of technical difficulties. I never said I was the best at such things. So hopefully uh, this one is working and you guys can see me. If anyone's there, let me know. Give me a, a thumbs up so I know that something's happening. Oh, I got one person. So uh, I did this before for about 10 minutes and realized that no one was watching. Uh, I guess it was on unlisted. So uh, also Tyler is right back there on Facebook doing a similar stream um, about uh, the People's Choice Award for the Rexy. So uh, here I am. Sorry for the confusion. Thanks for watching. I'm so glad you guys are here. Just a real quick note on kind of what's happening. We realize that a lot of people are working from home. I'm working from home. This is my home office. And uh, we weren't 100% sure if we should still go on with this event. And we had some discussions and we thought it would be a really kind of fun. The idea is that this is going to be a fun, uplifting kind of thing. Get some social engagement. Um, I know people are going a little stir crazy, looking for things to do. So uh, this whole People's Choice Award is going to be kind of based on March Madness and brackets. So uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. We're, we're trying to do it in good spirits. And we know a lot of people are stressed out right now, me and Included. My wife's a nurse, so things are a little bit hectic at the Tavacoli house and family, but um, so glad you're here. So glad we're still trying to have a little bit of fun with everyone and engage with you. So what's this whole thing about? Um, this is a, the People's Choice Award. So SportRx puts on an award show every year. If you didn't know about it, it's super rad. We have a couple videos on YouTube about it. We'll put some links in the descriptions and the comments so you can check them out easily if you want. Oh, hi, Brittany. How are you? Um, sorry, it took me so long to get live. Um, so we'll put some uh, videos down there if you want to check out some more information about the Rexies. But the Rexies, uh, if you can use your imagination, is the Oscars of the optical industry. SportRx puts on this really fun fun, fabulous black tie event at Vision Expo West every year in Las Vegas. And we uh, thank our brand partners and recognize our brand partners for making some of the best products in the industry. So we have this really fun award show. Uh, I got to host it on year one and on second second year I got to host it, but it was really cool because we had a bunch of sport directors also present. So it was really fun. We got a lot more people involved. And uh, it's just a super rad night. So this year for 2020, we're going to have an extra category and it's called the People's Choice Award. That means, and the way you vote is you can put it down in the comment section, put your favorite pair of glasses down there, or you can email rexies at, uh, rexies at sportrx.com. That's R-E-X-Y-S at sportrx.com. Uh, and the other option is check us out on Instagram and Facebook, and you can uh, put your nominations there as well. And then keep up with Instagram and Facebook because we're gonna have bracket challenges. It's gonna be a lot like March, Mas a lot like March Madness with different brackets. So um, you're gonna have to vote every time. There'll be you know two versus eight and one versus nine and that kind of thing. And then you're gonna have to wait till September to find out who actually wins after the last two finalists are announced all throughout the next couple of weeks. So that's what's going on uh, today. That's what we're here to announce is the People's Choice Award. And we really want some engagement and we would really love for you to, in the comment section, put what you uh, what your favorite pair of glasses are. Um, what is that jazz transformer in the background? Oh, yeah. I don't know what you're talking about, but this is a birthday present I got. This is my uh, little 1977 Porsche. So there you go. Uh, but keep talking to me. I'm reading those comments. This is fun. I like going live. Okay, I'm gonna look at a couple of notes. All right, so I'm gonna talk a little bit more about the Rexies. The Rexies, uh, we had two so far. 2018 was the inaugural Rexies and uh, kind of was a proof in concept and we sent it pretty hard. We had a fun night. Everybody who walked in got a flask of, uh, first year was bourbon or vodka. Um, second year, we also did flasks. We did bourbon and tequila. That was very, very good. Oh, thank you, Steph. Yeah, I got dressed up because it's like a Rexy's thing. Rexy's, you can dress up. And I love dressing up and I'm kind of tired of wearing yoga clothes all day, every day, uh, working from home. So I was glad to put on a belt today. Um, and yes, I'm wearing actual pants. I'm not in my uh, anchorman uh boxers down here <laughs> below. Um, so yeah, the Rexies is the Oscars of the industry, of the optical industry. Year one was amazing. It was proof of concept. We had a lot of fun. 
And year two, we went a lot bigger. We had a lot more fun. Uh, it was a bigger event. It was a more formal event. A lot of people kind of understood more what we were doing. And um, it was pretty cool. First year I hosted it and I, I was on stage solo most of the night. And if you know me, I like that. But uh, it was really cool. Second year I hosted and we had a lot of sport RXers doing the different nominations for the different awards. So it was really cool. We got a lot of the family involved and that was super, super fun. Uh, I also did a pretty fun speech on year two. So year one, I kind of had this concept of what I wanted to do, but I didn't quite fully commit. And as soon as Rexy's one was over, I started working on my poem for Rexy's two. Poem, yes! Sunglass Rob is also a poet. A lot of people in the industry and a lot of people at the office did not know that. And I kind of um, had this three minute slam poetry piece about how much I love eyewear and how much I love this industry and how important what we do is. And uh, that was really, really fun for me to kind of show off an old skill that I had from a long time before. I hear you, Steph, listen. Yeah, uh, it, was, it was pretty cool. So yeah, Dan, our CEO and president. Hi, Dan, if you're watching. Uh, uh, kind of this whole Rexy's thing was a little seed that he had and then we all kind of got involved and became a really cool thing. Uh, one of the funnest nights of the year for me, for sure. <laughs> Steph's doing my whole poem. You have it memorized, Steph. I love it. Um, it, it was uh, it, it was pretty cool. Uh, second year really grew, a lot more fun, a lot more people dressed up, a lot of people kind of understood what we did. Spy came in hot wearing matching gold jackets, which was super cool. Um, I don't know what you're saying, Bill. I don't know who that is, but hi, I'm glad you're watching. Uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, it was bigger and better in, 20, in 2019, 2020. I think we're gonna keep people on their toes and make it kind of a whole new concept, a whole new idea. Of course, it'll still be an award show and it'll still be in Vegas and it'll still be in conjunction with Vision Expo West, but uh, you know, look out. We might get wet this year. We're gonna have some fun. Some things are gonna be, uh, th some things are gonna be kind of interesting this year. So um, the 2020 Rexies, we've already been planning uh, possibly, uh, if you know who no spring hinges are, we might, we don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens there. Pretty exciting times. Um, and let's see. What category am I most excited for for the 2020 Rexies is a question. And I think it's this one. It's the People's Choice one. I'm really curious how this is going to go. This is all based on people's interaction and your nomination. So we really need your nominations. I know I said it a couple of times, but put it on Instagram, put it on Facebook, uh, put it in the comment section of this video, or email rexies at sportrx.com, and we will uh, take all your nominations, put them in brackets, and start doing some bracket challenges. And you're gonna have to vote on those brackets too, so stay involved and uh, help us decide a winner. So that's pretty, pretty cool. Yes, Wiley X's are amazing, and they're all safety weighted. Could you imagine? And they have this new Captivate lens which is ridiculously cool. Oh, and we just dropped a vlog video with my boy TJ um, on that whole Captivate lens. And I think TJ's got a future on camera. Good job, TJ. That was an awesome video. And good job, Mike, editing that. That was, that was awesome. Okay, so uh, another question is, what are some of my favorite Rexy's memories? I really enjoyed last year when the Rexies won a Rexy. It was kind of a joke that we did on everybody. We did a fun category nobody knew about on uh, best industry event, best industry party. And we had three or four other parties that people throw and then our own event. And then we gave ourselves a Rexy and the whole company went crazy and uh, uh, ran around and uh, played with glitter and confetti. And it was really cool. That was kind of kind of interesting to me. That was fun. Which Oakley, T. Dixon? I'd like to know which Oakley in particular is your favorite Oakley. Not just the brand, but the model. And if you know the color, that would be cool too. Um, so that was a really cool favorite uh, Rexy's moment. I think the other one for me, which was huge, was last year when Anna and Zarina did a bit together on stage. So Anna is our second most tenured SportRx employee. And Zarina, her daughter, is our third most tenured uh, 
sport rx employee and two people that i love and respect a lot hi how are you um and they did this bit about kids glasses and um zarina not wanting to be on stage and anna kind of like trying to coach her along and it was hilarious uh, if you do watch the rexy's highlight it, there's a little bit of bit in that but if you were there you know how well that went off also i really liked when rusty uh did his peter sagan impersonation and uh when 100 won the award he kind of accepted it for him that was that was pretty amazing i know steph anna and serena are like pretty much the best but you're pretty much the best we have a lot of best people at sport rx we have amazing people at the office hey if you didn't know Side note, SportRx has won best places to work five times by Outside Magazine. Five years we've won best places to work in America, uh, top 50, so that's pretty cool. Hey, hey Bill, just wanna say I'm a big fan. Oh, hi, how are you Bill? We're big fans of you and glasses. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah, that was, that was pretty cool. Um, oh, we want to talk about some past winners. So the Oakley Flak 2.0 XL has won twice. Basically, they won. They win best men's like sports glasses. And um, I actually have a pair of my own right here. This is the uh, limited edition exclusive Sport RX colorway. So after Rexy's won, Oakley approached us and said that we can have our own version of this frame. So we came up with this matte carbon color, which I think is just unbelievably perfect. Uh, these have prescription lenses in them. This is Prism Dark Golf. And don't let the name scare you away. I absolutely love Prism Dark Golf and I really don't play much golf at all. It's a great rose copper lens, kind of like that old school VR28 Black Iridium, if you're familiar with that. I wear it a lot mountain biking on really sunny days so that's an amazing lens so the flak 2.0 xl has won a couple times the wiley x gravity won best motorcycle eyewear which it is those things are unbelievable um and what else is one oh last year the smith's guides choice won best adventure glasses and that was a pretty cool adventure the whole story of that so a little bit behind the scenes spy who likes the party stole my bottle of basil hayden bourbon right off the stage it was my own personal bottle for the night they stole it off the stage and drank that and happened to drink everything else in the building and at the end of the night they actually stole smith's rexy i know crazy uh and they took it on an adventure all throughout las vegas and it went to some places we don't want to mention I also heard it got thrown through a casino and broke a slot machine. The thing came back all mangled and mushled and it was ridiculous. Holbrook XLs, I got a pair of those in my display right over here. Oh, here's my uh, sunglass display. I don't know if you can see it, it's a little bit backlit, but that's part of my collection. Um, so yeah, the, 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 the Rexy came back all mangled and damaged and they gave it back to them the next day in the booth. And we offered, uh, Spy offered to pay SportRx to make a new award for Smith because they damaged their award and we woke up in the morning and realized what they did. But Smith was really cool and said, hey, we won best adventure glasses and our award went on this amazing adventure. We'll take the beat up one with the story. So uh, it was pretty cool. Ah, Amanda, I know you love this display. I have this one. This is the single. I have a double wide in the garage and I have a tower upstairs used to be mine but my son kind of overtook it he's got a little bit of an oakley collection happening now already at six years old um so best adventure glasses was a really cool one last year and another one which i thought was awesome last year that one was uh the costa water woman you know costa is obviously really known for fishing there everybody kind of considers them a fishing brand but they've been doing some really cool stuff that works great uh, off the boat as well the Water Woman is in the core collection and can definitely be used for hardcore fishing, but it's a beautiful pair of glasses. And we just thought it was so cool that they made a woman specific pair that could work off and on the boat. Uh, amazing pair of glasses, sells really well as well. So the Water Woman winning best new release last year was really, really cool. Yeah, shout out to Costa. J-Dub, if you're watching, man, I miss you. I love you. I hope you're doing well. Uh, yeah, uh, Brady's in here. What's up, Brady? How are you, brother? Uh, yeah, uh, the Spy Weston also won Best Eyeglasses the first year. That was super cool. Yeah, Brady, give us a nomination, man. Um, and it's sunglasses, guys. We're trying to do this just for sunglasses, not eyeglasses. What's up, Brady? I see you in there. Uh, okay, so, oh, we wanted to share a few behind the scenes stories. So 
something really interesting happened last year. I, I was practicing my poem, my speech, one more time. Um, there's like a little upstairs area where there's a bar. Everybody was downstairs. Dan was giving his speech. He was about to introduce me. I kind of started knowing his speech through, through rehearsals pretty well. I knew when he was going to announce me. And the doors opened to the uh, chairman's salon where we had the event. And this unbelievably drunk couple walks in with like shopping bags and a glass of wine. The dude had a beer. The lady like falls over onto the couch. The guy's stumbling around. And I'm up there alone by myself, about to go on stage, about to do this three minute memorized poem. And boom, here comes this drunk couple kind of disrupting the whole thing. So I had to go talk to them, ask them politely to leave. The guy leaves, the girl won't leave. I go find Rusty and, be, and, and tell him, hey dude, you gotta take care of this. I'm about to go on stage. And then boom, I went on stage and I, I think Rusty and security and somebody took care of it. But that was a little bit of a, a, my heart just kind of <laughs> went up heartbeat right before I went on stage. So that was interesting. Um, let's see what else. I got some notes here. There's some more fun stuff that happened. Uh, oh, there was another thing behind the scenes thing nobody knew about. Uh, Dan went upstairs to his room during like the cocktail hour to kind of do his final preparations and get ready before his speech. And he didn't tell anyone he left and nobody realized he left. And we were on time and schedule and we're like, all right, this is good. Let's go give the five minute warning. And Joyce's voice comes on. The Rexies will begin in five minutes. Sorry, Joyce, I can't do your beautiful voice any justice, but I love you. Uh, and uh, Dan was Dan walks in and he hears the Rexies is going to start in five minutes. So it all worked out. He walked in right at the perfect time. We were running like clockwork, but it was pretty interesting that we all gave the go ahead to start without Dan, who was going to start the evening uh, with his Liberace cape. So that was pretty cool. Um, another one that was pretty fun uh, was uh, Ryan, who's our Costa in-house ambassador, was trying to show Dan how the little confetti popper little cannon thing works. Um, right before we all knew we were going to win the Rexy for the Rexies. And he accidentally just popped it and like, boom, it went on. And there's some amazing photographs. Uh, we got some amazing photographs of that. So uh, that's pretty cool. And I believe those are in the highlight video, which will eventually be in the comment section. So you should check out. So that was pretty rad as well. And then I already talked about behind the scenes, but maybe it was in front of everybody. Spy, Brady, Curtis, you guys took my bourbon bottle. And you just, it was like, it was, I had a whole thing. It was right there. It was for the whole night. The next thing I knew, it was empty. So you guys owe me a bottle of Basil Hayden, I think. Yeah, that's pretty fair. And you guys stole the, the cape. The cape went on an adventure. And I think we had to get it, like, cleaned severely because I know how you guys party. Um, that was pretty interesting. So, again, we're doing the People's Choice Award. Uh, we really, really, really would love for everybody to... Um, Please nominate your favorite pair of sunglasses. Do it in the comment sections here. Uh, do it on Instagram. Do it on Facebook. Make sure you follow us on Instagram and Facebook so you can keep up with all the brackets so that your nomination goes on and wins, hopefully. That's the whole point. So please stay in touch with us. Uh, stay communicative. We'd love to hear from you. Um, yeah, thank you so much for being a part of this. I know there's a lot of not fun stuff going on in the world right now. And we just wanted to try and have a little bit of fun and try and keep an uplifting message. Um, we are still open. The showroom is obviously closed, but our dot-com business is still open. If you're looking for glasses, if you still need anything, you can call us. The opticians are all on at home working on the phones. We got some really awesome technology helping us out. So we are still running and we are still open. And um, the people that are in the warehouse, we're following all the guidelines and keeping everyone separate and, and clean. So thank you everyone in the warehouse who's still out there shipping for us. We really, really appreciate it. Uh, pretty, pretty, pretty amazing. So um, yeah, I think that's it. Oh, I forgot to mention, if you share this video or if you share 
the Facebook video uh, with your social group, like if you just share it, you know how to share. You're probably more technically inclined than I am. Um, we'll send you a SportArx hat. You gotta be in the US though. I'm sorry. I know we have a lot of international fans, um, but it, you gotta be in the US and we will send you a SportArx hat. So if you share this video or you share the Facebook or the Instagram version that Tyler did, we'll send you a hat. So how cool is that? You got a SportArx hat. I got my hat collection right up there. Yeah, there it is. Uh, that'd be super rad. So again, I hope everyone's being safe. I hope everyone's staying home. I hope spirits are high. We're all in this together. If you need eyewear, let us know. We'll be there. All right. Bye, everybody. Hopefully, see you at the Rexies.